Okay, so now let's go on to question number five. What is the molar mass of acetic acid? Okay, so acetic acid can also go by the name ethanoic acid. So if we try to analyze the, the name ethanoic acid, the prefix has eth, so we know that there are two carbons involved. And we can also see that it ends in like oic acid, so we know that uh, the main functional group in this compound is a carboxylic acid. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to draw out this structure. So I'll draw out my two carbons. This carbon at the end will have three hydrogens. And then the carbon on this side will have carboxylic acid. So that means it has a double bonded oxygen and also an alcohol group. And this is the structure. So if we were to write down the chemical formula, it would be CH3COOH. Okay, so the question asks for the molar mass. So first I'm going to write down all of the molar masses involved in acetic acid. So for the molar mass of carbon, it is 12.01. The molar mass of oxygen is 16, and the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. So now to find the molar mass of the whole compound, it's just going to be adding all these values together, and also take into account how much of each element is in the compound. So there are two carbons, so I'm going to do 2 times the molar mass of carbon, plus uh, there are also two oxygens, so 2 times the molar mass of oxygen, plus 4 times the molar mass of hydrogen. So now I can plug in their values. Okay, so if you add it all up and solve for the answer, you end up getting a total molar mass of 60.05 grams per mole for acetic acid. Okay, so let's see what our junior tutor said. Molar mass is the sum of all the atomic masses that make up the compound. Acetic acid has a molecular formula of CH3COOH, this means that it has two carbons, four hydrogens, and two oxygens. To get the molar mass, we simply get their sum. Okay, so they ended up getting the same total of 60.05 grams per mole. So this solution is correct.